Right now, 99% of lakes and rivers are unprotected under the Navigation Protection Act. These protections were gutted by the former Harper government. In the coming months, together we will have an opportunity to do what is right and create stronger protections for lakes and rivers than ever before. The Navigable Waters Protection Act is one of Canada's oldest pieces of legislation. It was put in place so that it would protect people's right to navigate waterways and, and it consequently protects waterways from industrial projects like logging, mining, pipelines and so forth. There are more than 31,000 lakes and 2.25 million rivers in Canada. There are only 97 lakes, 62 rivers, and three oceans that are currently protected by the Navigation Protection Act. The Harper government had removed protections from 99% of the lakes and rivers in Canada and, and exempted pipeline reviews and transmission line reviews from the Act. Many pipeline, mining, large dam, power line, and fish farm projects are being given the green light without adequate assessment of how they will affect lakes and rivers. So there are projects like the Ajax mine uh, just outside of the city of Kamloops that's going forward with parts of it not being reviewed by the, the federal government. Um, pipeline projects are entirely exempted so the Energy Ace project which crosses nearly 3,000 waterways isn't being reviewed in terms of the impacts on navigable waters. The impact on Indigenous communities is really that they are cut out of decision making and so the, the changes were made in a way that free prior informed consent was not obtained. We must work with Indigenous peoples to protect every lake and every river. We must also recognize Indigenous peoples as the original peoples of this land that have unique laws, cultures, traditions and rights that must be recognized and respected. The Council of Canadians would love to see the, the freshwater protections not only restored but enhanced as well. We want to see the human right to water and Indigenous rights protected. I think if enough people talk to their members of Parliament then, then they'll have to act. I think getting uh, the issue out to the media is really important, so writing letters to the editor for people to learn more about water issues themselves and how it's, in, how it's being threatened in their communities, and then also talking to their friends and family about the importance of water. The human right to water must be part of the foundation for all water and environmental legislation in Canada. The Trudeau government will be holding public consultations to review some of the freshwater protections and environmental legislation. We want the name of the, of the legislation changed back to the Navigable Waters Protection Act so that the law and its regulations are one of many that truly protect water. We want to see the 99% of lakes and rivers uh, put back under the protection of the, the Navigable Waters Protection Act. We want to see pipeline, every pipeline and every transmission line project reviewed under the Navigable Waters Protection Act. Water and environmental laws must include a clause that gives a community the right to say no to projects that threaten waterways, and yes to protecting water and sustainable jobs for future generations. This is the moment we have been waiting for. Together we can finally undo the damage done by the Harper government and secure a better water future for Canada and Indigenous communities. Water is life, and it can teach us how to live together. We must come together to protect every lake and every river and find a way to live more lightly on this planet.